Hi, I'm Jody and I was hacked a few days ago. I want to show you how and I want to teach you how to do the same thing. You cannot prevent the same thing. It will happen eventually. What's the story? Here I want to speak about fuzzing and also teach you how you can do it yourself on different sites after getting permission for it. What's the story? This is my personal site, jadi.ir. As you can see, it's a normal website. It shows something. If you go to the support, you will have some photos here. Say you want to send me some tones so you can go to copy image and there is an image hosted here. Here it is, jadi.ir, images, crypto, tone, PNG. But you may wonder, do I have a Dogecoin? We don't know, you can try. So, you can type Doge here, and I have a Dogecoin. Although you were able to find it here too. So, but you got the idea. You can start guessing some files and finding out if it's there or not. The story is, I had a VPS some time ago and changed it a few years ago and changed it a year ago and changed it to a new VPS a month ago or a week ago. And this took maybe 15 years. Each time I had something to do, it was my personal web blog, okay, but each time I wanted to download something, I would SSH to this, will download the file here and then move the file to my own computer. If I had something personal to share with someone, I would say secret.txt copy it to my VPS and then telling my friend, go to jadi.ir slash secret.txt and you can download the file. Okay, and then I forgot about it. So I started going from this server to the next server, from this server to this server, and a week ago from this VPS to this VPS by copying whatever garbage was there. So I had a history on my personal VPS. Very bad idea. What I should have done was installing a new clean WordPress, move only the needed files, remove whatever is not needed and other things like that. That would be a wiser choice. Here I can introduce you to the sponsor of this specific video, which really, really happened. This story is true and our sponsor is true. I want to is real. That's better. I want to speak about Kinsta or sponsor in this video. They provide managed hosting for WordPress sites. After that, I will show you how a friend started fuzzing me and hacking. Watch. Ever felt overhelp trying to manage your own website hosting while juggling a hundred other tasks? Yeah, not fun. That's where Kinsta comes in. Manage hosting provider for WordPress that makes your site fast, secure and reliable without you lifting a finger. Switching to Kinsta can make your site run up to 200% faster. Plus, their security is enterprise level. We are talking firewalls, DDoS protection, isolated containers, and up to 99.99% uptime guarantee, backed by SOC2 certification. Their dashboard is so intuitive, you'll wonder why everything isn't this easy. And when you need help, you get real humans 24-7, 365 answering back to you. Kinsta gives you peace of mind knowing your website is safe, fast, and in expert hands. So instead of stressing over your hosting, let Kinsta handle it, and you get back to running your business. They can even handle your migration, so no technical expertise needed on your site. The only thing you need to do is just visiting the link in the description or scan the QR code to get started. It's cool how these two things happened in real life at the same time. The attack, which was real, and Kinsta, 
offering this sponsorship opportunity. So I jumped in and said, yes. Anyway, I was speaking about this concept that you can have different things on your site and people can start guessing them. So they may go to jadi.ir slash secret to see if I have any secret there. No secret here. Secret JPEG. No. Private JPEG. No. So let's try backup. Backup SQL. No. So you can start guessing things and things and things and things. Especially if you know what you are doing. For example, you will find out that this is an Active Directory. So I need to check some specific phrases which are very common in Active Directory servers. Or this is a web server. So I can start checking whatever backup phrase I have in mind. This can be a time-consuming but very, very, very rewarding thing to do. This is called reconnaissance. You find out more and more about your target. So some people call it having a honeypot. It's like when you have all your servers, you can, you have your, for example, router here. This is your network. And these are your servers connected to each other. You can add one server here. So whenever people try, whenever people start hacking your system and they are in, they may try root root on all servers. They will try on this one and a whistle will blow somewhere that someone logged in into this honeypot. It was here to see if anyone is trying to hack you. There are even cooler honeypots. There is one case, for example, people create some fake SSH server, put it on the internet. It accepts an easy password, for example, user and got as the password. So whenever they log in, they start typing commands, trying to look around, ping things, do an end map. And you are seeing all of these in your observation panel because this is another honeypot. Some people call the server I just described a canary because in old days, people in mines used to have some canaries. So if oxygen level goes down, canary will start dying and you will see that there is a problem. So you can have also a canary server in your server clusters. So whenever someone tries to log into this, it means a hacker is there. That's the concept of honeypotting. And on the other hand, we have something which is called fuzzing. In general, fuzzing means fuzzing a program with data. You have a data, for example, you say calculate and give it something and it calculates this. Fuzzing is giving it strange things, zero length string, a very long string, a string consists of only letters, trying different, different things to see when you can break this. This is what many security researchers do. I'm also interested in fuzzing. You will find stack overflows using these kind of attacks. In web, fuzzing means you have jadi.ir, you try backup SQL, jadi.jpg, login, support, old files, secret, giveaway, whatever you can think of. You just try and see when you get an answer back. And how this happens in web? In web, you know, we have 404 error, which means not found. For example, I can use a fuzzer and say, use many, many, many different words here. As soon as you got something other than 404 in the text or in HTTP answer back, show me what you tried. So you can get more information on a website. Or you, you, we now, now we have these virtual hosts, vhost. You can have one web server on one IP running here, and you can say to Apache Nginx, whatever you are using, if someone came and wanted to use jadi.ir, answer this back. If someone came and asked for google.com, answer this back. So on your host, you are indicating what site are you using. So you can have a fuzzer to try this all the time and put your word list instead of the host and try different hosts or whatever you think. You can just send different things to a search and see what will happen. At the end, you are 
combining a URL request on the web with a word list. Okay, I have forgotten to make my window smaller, but no harm. I was lucky. I just used this side of the screen. So that's fine. Let's go and see what we have. The guy who hacked me and showed me lots of private files, nothing disturbing, luckily, but it was clear that these, these files were not intended to be there, was using this FFUF. Falls faster, you fool. It's a cool program, fast, uh, works great. This is not what I used to use. I was using other fuzzers because, fuzzers because mainly I am using uh, local fuzzing on binaries. But this was, was a, this FFUF is mostly used for web fuzzing and especially things like reconnaissance on websites. So you have to install it clearly. It's Go. So on Mac, you can go with brew install FFUF or go install this. Or if you have the Go, you can go like this one. Anyway, after installation, we can run it straight forward. So FFUF-H will give you the help. It's not very extensive. FFUF, it has some options, adding fuzzer to header, HTTP method to use, sending some uh, cookies and these kind of stuff, and also filtering options and also match options. So for example, you can say match for HTTP status code 200. Only match if this was working correctly. So you will forget anything who returns anything other than these, especially 404. So it's not found, but as soon as you had a found, for example, 200 or others or moved or permanently moved, show me what the word was. Or, for example, you can match based on the lines in response. This is how it works. You send a request manually. So I send a request, see the response, then choose my match or filter options. For example, I say match whatever was four lines of code or filter whatever is four lines of response or do based on the size and many of other things. Let's have a look at the examples. It's very clear and easy. For example, this is an example. It says, okay, do use this specific word list. This file is lots, consists of lots of words. Then send a request to this one and replace this fuzz with this one, then this one, then this one, then this one, then this one. And match MC all based on filter 42. So if the size is 42, filter it. Other than this, show everything and do some coloring and verbose mode. Or for example, this one. Here we have start your fuzzing, use these lists, go with this URL and send this header on host send false. So trying different things. Match only if the answer was 200 found. Cool. If you want to do this, we have to have a word list. The most famous word list, yeah, most famous, is Raft word list. Raft is a tool, hackers use it, but it ha also has a very extensive tool list. Here on sec list, you will find lots of lists, for example, list of passwords, common credentials, these are the, uh, this century. So if you have a date or something, or you have like best passwords, which people use are these ones, not on, don't use this as naked as your password or my pass. All of these are bad. But what I need here in my word list is discovery because we want to do a discovery. It's a reconnaissance. Web content, it's a web content. Here you have different things. For example, you can search for APIs, API endpoints, very standard API endpoints might be behind a web server. And this is a bad practice. It's called security by obscurity. You cannot secure things because they are obscure and nobody knows about them. People will find them. People know how to false. 
So here on web content, there are different things. For example, common DB backups. This is what we spoke about. DB backup SQL, DB backup RAR, DB backup SQL TAR, or SQL.zip, SQL.7z, or 1.SQL, www.sqltjz. Lots of names people use for their database dumps or any kind of backups like backup SQL RAR and many, many different things. Site SQL TAR, accounts SQL. So let's try this on Jadi. I download this one. I have the common DB. So if I go to my fuzzer, I can run fuzzit with the word list downloads common DB. This is it. So I'm telling it. Ah, this is on Jody.net. Let's do the Jody IR. What I'm doing is I'm running my fuzzer with this word list on this URL. So this will be changed every time based on every word they have. Let's run it. And I will only show things which are giving back 200, which in HTTP we know that it is found and giving back answers. It didn't found anything. Cool. I'm safe. I thought I put something there for you to see, but it was not there for you to see. But I have something on Jody.net. No worries. Yeah, on Jody.net I had something to see. I also tried to have something there, but anyway, this is, you got the content, context, and see how fast it was. It tried 336 different phrases from my word list very, very quickly. We didn't even notice. Why is that? Because a fuzzer is fuzz faster, you fool. It's a Go program. It creates lots of threads and different threads do the request, get, the get back the answer. So it's very fast. On Jody.net, you can see that uh, we found a... couple of these things, which are honeypots, but I think I had one on Jody.ir. Not sure. Anyway, have fun. Hope you learned something cool. Try this FFUF or any other fuzzer on sites you like if you have permission. Be aware, this can be illegal. You cannot attack people. And also, if you're using it somewhere, use it responsibly. Use it to learn. A guy who found my files emailed me directly, told me that what he's done, and asked me to fix that. It's, to, it's for us to learn. Hackers want to bypass walls to see how they can do it, not to steal what is behind them. Have fun, keep safe, and use only and only on the servers you have permission.